All right, here we go again. It's another buy a mulligan. This time, Peter Malnati is on the hot seat. Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. All right, it's five questions. You answer all five, you get this T-shirt. If I ask you one that's just way too tough, please tell me they're tough because everyone's telling me they're too easy. <laughs> T-shirt goes out the window and everyone's gonna make fun of you because only James Hahn has thus far used his mulligan. So yeah. let's do this. You made some serious headlines. It's not often you can say as a web.com tour player, you made sports center. Oh no, here oh. it comes back. Oh, and a footprint too. <laughs> Are you kidding me? All oh, that for that? <laughs> can you give us that reaction right now? Oh. Are you kidding me? All oh, that for that? <laughs> we maybe watched that video in our office 8,000 times. It still makes me laugh. Uh, what, was the, <laughs> what was the most embarrassing part? The fact that that was caught live or the fact that it was run literally everywhere that was interesting? <laughs> no, no embarrassment in it. The, the only part of it that was embarrassing was the fact that uh, Golf Channel showed my, my golfer's walk of shame all the way back to the tee box with my head down and my muddy pants and my bare feet. All right, so before you actually got to web.com tour, you experienced the mini tours oh, yeah. a little bit. Oh, and yeah. there's a couple of really funny Twitter handles for mini tour problems. I don't know if you've ever seen those. So <laughs> what was your most ridiculous experience on that circuit where you were like, are we really playing professional <laughs> golf here, people? You know, I don't know. I had a really good attitude about most things that happened. Let me think of one, though, because there are plenty. Um, <laughs> Doggone, the, the, the most memorable thing about my mini tour career was uh, just peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's it. Like, I, I got, I averaged, I averaged more than two a day for about three years of my life, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, because I wasn't going to go. I couldn't, I mean, I wasn't going to go buy a, you know, a $9 sandwich from Firehouse when right. I could think and you make, I can make my week supply of peanut butter and jelly for nine bucks. All right, mini tour, no problems. I like it. Okay, peanut now butter you, and jelly, though. <laughs> you and your wife, Alicia, you both have blogs. I have read both of them. Out of the two of you, and she's here shooting some behind the scenes right now, out of the two of you, who's the better writer? Um, she's the better writer technically. I'm the better writer creatively. Ah, wow, no hesitation here. What's your biggest complaint about Alicia when you guys travel so much together? Oh, that's not really that hard. Um, <laughs> she doesn't like to eat normal food. Um, no normal yeah, food. How, how long should I go? She doesn't like to eat normal food. We can't, like, there's no, ask any guy standing around here, there's nothing wrong with going to Chipotle three nights in a row. There's nothing wrong with that. What's the weirdest thing you do in the hotel room? Uh, it's probably my, I'm pretty OCD about, like, I, I get, even my dirty clothes are folded and stacked, like. Yes! So. Ding, ding, ding! That is the weirdest thing you said! <laughs> so, yeah, I think, uh, I, and, and it just follows, like, if I do it, I think I'm doing it for some reason. So it follows that she should do it too. And when she doesn't, it bothers me. So you want so. your wife to literally fold her own dirty laundry? Well, yeah, I don't just leave it laying around in a pile. One player on the PGA Tour that if you get grouped with next year, you're going to be like a secret fanboy. Like oh. you're just so excited, you know you got to keep it under wraps, but secretly you're just going to be freaking out. I mean, there's no no question about it. I thought, you know, for, for several years, I've looked up to Zach Johnson a lot. and. Uh, I think he's a super nice guy. He's already taken the time to have one little conversation with me. Just the only time I met him um, was my rookie year in Vegas. And he talked to me in the locker room for five minutes. He was great. So if we get paired together, I'll definitely, like, I'll be rooting for him. I'll be watching him. I'll be learning from him. I'll be, I'll be doing all that stuff when typically it doesn't really matter who I'm playing with. I'm just trying to, to go out and do my thing and hopefully just beat him into the ground. Like, with him, I'll be paying attention. So. I love that. So, Zach Johnson, you think you asked him for, like, a little autograph, maybe St. Andrew's flag? I'd have him sign something for me for sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So. I love that. All right, well, I, I'm still going to take a little bit of time to get over the whole folding dirt, dirty laundry thing. I may think yeah. about that every time I see you now on camera on TV. But <laughs> congratulations, you survived by a mulligan, and we can't wait to see you on the PGA Tour this season. Well, what did you ask James Hahn that he didn't answer? Uh, I asked him, what's the one thing his wife would complain about? They have a new baby at home. And I said, what's the one thing she would <laughs> complain about with you that she wished you did more? And he said, I'd like to stay married by a mulligan next. <laughs> oh, James, come on. <laughs> I know. And all right, well, congratulations. Hey, and we'll, we'll see you later this season, fun. right? Thanks. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Yeah, you'll see me a lot. <laughs>